Raider Nation, what's going on? You guys are watching the Raiders Report. Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports, ready to get into today's news and rumors and some of the topics that we're going to be talking about here today. The Raiders GM tracker, the Raiders head coach, the latest around Jim Harbaugh, Josh McDaniels. The Raiders are actually interviewing a coach today. And at the very end of today's show, David Carr, not Derek, David Carr, Derek's brother, had some pretty interesting things to say about DC's future. So we're going to break all of that down here on today's show. But I've been getting asked a lot, Mitch, when are the Raiders going to hire a GM? Well, let's talk about Ed Dodds a little bit, who I personally believe right now is the front runner for the Raiders GM position. Now, Dodds, he interviewed with Las Vegas yesterday. Everything that I have heard, people who I have talked to said that the interview went extremely well. And this is a very important thing because Ed Dodds has already turned down a GM position this year with the Bears. He did it last year as well. But the fact that from everything that I hear is that Dodds came away from the interview with Mark Davis and he was impressed by Davis. That is extremely important for somebody like Dodds who has been very, very picky about finding where he wants to go if he decides to leave the Indianapolis Colts. Now, in terms of more GM news here around Las Vegas, I've been told that the Raiders could hire a GM as early as end of the week this week, but I've also been told that Davis is in absolutely no rush to hire a general manager because as it stands right now, the Las Vegas Raiders are the only team in the National Football League who have a GM opening, so therefore, technically, he can be a little bit more patient. But I have also been told that the GM will be hired before the NFL Pro Bowl February 6th. I've actually also been told that it could be as early as the day before that, February 6th or 5th, with like the pro or scouting combine and all that kind of good stuff there because the Raiders want to have people there watching the players. So if you guys want to stay up to date going on around Las Vegas, we got you covered here when the Raiders hire a J GM. I don't know, I guess I'm from the south all of a sudden. When the Raiders hire a head coach, we're going to be breaking it down and we're going to be going live. So hit that sub button. Turn on those notifications because I don't want you guys to miss the information. And I promise you this, it is going to be a wild, wild show. But with all the new stuff coming up around news, rumors, around head coaching, GMs, stuff going on in the entire offseason, we are your number one stop shop for all Raiders info. So go ahead and subscribe. All right, let's get into the Raiders GM candidates because right now there's eight people. Eight guys are running for the GM job. You got Dwayne Joseph. He's so far your only in-house candidate. Trey Brown has actually been somebody that's starting to grow on me a little bit. Dave Ziegler, Director of Player Personnel of the Patriots. And then Champ Kelly. Four more names. And I will give the Raiders credit. And Mark Davis, he's always very sneaky in his hiring process. Personally, guys like Rustin Weber, Brandon Hunt, John Spytek, they never would be on my GM interview list because I don't really think that they've earned it. But Ed Dodds is an absolute stud and hopefully he ends up getting this job. But you guys can right now go ahead down in the comment section and let me know who do you want as the next Raiders general manager. In fact, this is probably going to be the comment that most people or the question most people comment on, who do you want as the next Raiders general manager? My answer remains the same. It's Dodds. Now, sure, the past few days I've been trying to connect the Dodds, figuring out who is going to be the next Raiders general manager, but I really truly believe from top to bottom, the answer should be Ed Dodds, assistant GM of the Indianapolis Colts. Now, I get asked very often, could you maybe figure out what are the chances of that happening for you new watchers? If I give something three no Chucky heads, it means that I believe it's a 75% chance of happening. 75% chance of happening is a very high, we'll say, percentage. So, Ed Dodds, next Raiders GM. I'm going to get ballsy here. Last week, I got ballsy and said Jim Harbaugh, three no Chucky heads. We're going to talk about Harbaugh here in a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and get ballsy with Ed Dodds. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but you know what? Ed Dodds, that's a hell of a chin. Let's get ballsy with him. Dodds is the front runner for the job. I went ahead and reported that. I was the very first one to do it on Twitter. Paul Gutierrez, about eight hours later, also then said that he is the front runner. The fact that the interview went well, the fact that Dodds was impressed by Mark Davis, all of those reasons why I really truly believe that Dodds will be the next GM of the Raiders. Now, I was also told that the Raiders, if Dodds is hired, that he would want 51-49 control. For those of you that don't know exactly what that means, is it basically is like if you get control of a company, if you have 51% 
control essentially means you get the final say. I know a lot of people don't want the same situation in terms of Jim Harbaugh and whatnot, but Ed Dodds, if he gets 51-49 control, that could be very interesting. But I personally think if it's Dodds and if it's Jim Harbaugh, it would be a much closer to a 50-50 split, so not so much of a 51-49 split. The other reason why I believe that Dodds is going to be the front runner here for GM is because I believe the amount of homework that I do around this team I believe I'm really good at being able to read tea leaves. And one of the tea leaves that came out was yesterday, Raiders insider Vic Tafer said that McDaniels is no longer the favorite for the head coaching job. Now, everyone that I've talked to, I can honestly sit up here and say that McDaniels has never been the favorite for the head coaching position. And what I'm starting to wonder is, did Dodds influence this rumor? Simply because when Dodds was interviewed, on Wednesday. That interview went super, super well, and then Vic Tafer releases an article about the fact that he doesn't think that he's going to be the front runner anymore. Well, I know for a fact that Dodds does not want Josh McDaniels. I know for a fact that he does not want Josh McDaniels as the head coach. In fact, I've also been told that Dodds doesn't like him whatsoever. And for those of you wondering, well, how do you know that or why? Think about this. Back in 2018, when Dodds started working with the Indianapolis Colts, Josh McDaniels was hired to be the head coach. He then flaked out on everyone, decided to go back to the New England Patriots, and I was told that Dodds and a lot of people inside the Colts organization, for that reason, obviously do not like Josh McDaniels. So if Dodds is hired as GM, it will not be McDaniels as head coach. So give me your one-word reaction, though, because I went on Twitter, at MitchellRents365, and please, you guys can always hit me up on Twitter, and I said I wouldn't let McDaniels within 500 feet of Allegiant Stadium because I think he's an absolute snake. I think he's a piece of crap, and I get it. He's respected offensive mind, but how many times have we seen a coordinator leave Bill Belichick and not work. Now, sure, there's been some, like Mike Vrabel, who actually just won NFL Head Coach of the Year, but he was also a player. So give me your one-word reaction if the Raiders hired Josh McDaniels. My one-word reaction is fraud, because I do. I really honestly believe that Josh McDaniels is a fraud. He had one opportunity to be a head coach. I was back with the Denver Broncos. He got a lot of control, and guess what? He sucked. Why? His ego got too big. His head got too big where he couldn't even walk into a room. I liked John Gruden as a person, but I also think the amount of money guaranteed, the amount of power that John Gruden got, his head got too big, and he thought his shit didn't stink. As you are seeing now, John Gruden's shit really stunk, because let's face it, Rich Passaccia was light years better than Gruden ever was. Now, to keep you guys up to date here on even more than just GM, we're still breaking down some head coaching news today, and Todd Bowles, he will interview with the Raiders for the opening of the next head coach. Now, this is one of the very first guys that the Raiders wanted to interview. Now, if you guys would have followed me probably like a month and a half ago, I said it was Todd Bowles, Leslie Frazier, Gus Bradley, and then Rich Passaccia. Those were the very first four people that the Raiders wanted to interview. So with that being said, I like Bowles. He's a good coordinator, but I wouldn't want him as my head coach. Now, here's some other head coaching news that's been going on. And usually the way that the NFL works is it's like a domino effect, right? I'm not such a copycat and league. It's a copycat league, but that's not where I'm going with this. In terms of the dominoes falling, this morning the Denver Broncos, they went out and hired Green Bay Packers offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett. The Bears then went ahead and hired Colts defensive coordinator Matt Eberflus. The Jags, they're expected to hire Byron Leftwich. You're hearing a lot of rumors around Brian Dable to the Dolphins, maybe even the Giants. All I'm saying is this, the dominoes will start to fall and the Raiders will end up picking a head coach, but the GM is going to come first. Now, the other thing I always say on these shows, keep your friends close, enemies closer, with the hiring of the Denver Broncos going out and getting Nathaniel Hackett, the Rodgers destination odds are become a little bit more interesting to me. I mean, we got to be able to think about the fact if you're in a division, okay, with Aaron Rodgers, Justin Herbert, Derek Carr, and Patrick Mahomes, that is bananas, y'all. Insane. And these plus 300 odds, they're scaring me a little bit. Now, if you want to go ahead and bet on where you think Aaron Rodgers is going to end up, you can actually go ahead and do so at chatsports.com slash Raiders. Just make sure you use promo code Raiders125. That gets you 125% deposit bonus. So when you put down $100, you're actually going to get $125 for free to bet with. And on top of that, if you want to bet on the NFC Championship game, AFC Championship game, that free money is going to help you do it. I'm betting on the bang 
Bengals, and I'm betting on the Rams. That's at least what I hope ends up happening. Now let's get into the latest going on here around head coach of the Michigan Wolverines, Jim Harbaugh. Now what I'm starting to wonder is if the uncertainty around Harbaugh influenced McDonald, who was the Michigan football team's defensive coordinator. He left. He then went to the Baltimore Ravens. The fact of Harbaugh being uncertain, did that then force him to go there? It's day 24 of Harbaugh in the NFL rumors in terms of when all this stuff started to pick up. So as you guys can see, Harbaugh has gone absolutely sign of late. So what I decided to do is reach into my sources, reach into my little black book here and try to figure out, hey, what is the latest going? on around Michigan football so I asked Michigan insider James Yoder and this is what he had to say Michigan DC heading back to the Ravens DC after one season isn't surprising and frankly should have been expected to those who follow it closely his move really shouldn't be seen as an indication of Jim Harbaugh's future plans Joe James also went on ahead and said there is a lot of smoke that Harbaugh has known about McDonald leaving for weeks, and he's been pursuing Bucks linebacking coach Larry Foote as Michigan's new DC. I doubt he'd be doing that if he was leaving for the NFL. So that last sentence is very interesting because he's kind of hitting at, hey, maybe Harbaugh decides to stay at Michigan. All I know is this. I've been told that the Raiders are interested in Harbaugh. I've been told that Harbaugh is interested in the Raiders, but the fact that it's this silent is starting to make me wonder if the Raiders are going to be able to get him away from the Wolverines. So get your votes in right now. Is he staying or is he leaving? Do you think Jim Harbaugh is going to leave Ann Arbor? Do you think he's going to pack up all of his stuff and head on over to Las Vegas? I want you to type L for leaving or I want you to go ahead and type S for staying. Now, one of the things I've been trying to keep you guys up to date on is all the Raiders' news and rumors. And in fact, all the stuff about Ed Dodds on today's show, I put on Instagram probably about six hours ago. Now, with the way that the show works here at Chat Sports, we only get certain studio times. It's a reason, though, that I want you guys to start following me on social media. You're going to get Raiders updates sometimes a lot quicker. Now, if there's breaking news, I try to go live here. I'm also going to be doing an Instagram Live on Sunday right before all the NFL playoff games. Now, the final thing that we're going to be talking about here, and it's coming up, is going to be around Derek Carr because I've been seeing a lot of crazy rumors today around Carr and what his brother had to say. And here's the thing. Just because David is Derek's brother, I wouldn't take everything that he says and go with it. Why? Because he's also an NFL analyst and he's trying to drive clicks as well. So here's the story going on. Derek's brother, David, was on the herd with Colin Coward and Howard basically asked him, like, all right, man, what's going on with your brother? Do you think he's going to end up going back to the Las Vegas Raiders? And David kind of hinted at the fact that he might not want to stay in Las Vegas. And he was like, I don't really know 100% what my guy's thinking. Now, Derek, what makes this interesting is he's also gone ahead and said that he would rather retire then play somewhere else. I personally think that Derek wants to be a Raider for life. I truly believe that. There's no other player in the world that I respect more than Derek Carr. But this statement here by David is what's making Raiders Twitter go absolutely insane. And here it is. David Carr on Derek Carr's future with the Raiders. I can't guarantee that Derek is going to want to sign up for that if it's going to be the same thing that he's done over the last seven or eight years. I can't guarantee that knowing my brother. Now, basically what he was hinting at is the idea of going ahead and getting a contract extension or basically if the Raiders wanted to go ahead and do a rebuild with DC. Now, I want you guys, the way that I'm going to end the show is this. Thoughts on David Carr's comments? Usually I ask you, hey, type Y or N. No, I want you to just go down in the comments and vent. Give me your two cents on what you think David Carr's comments about Derek Carr actually mean. For me, I think it just simply means Derek Carr doesn't want to rebuild. And whoever the new head coach, GM is, if they want to rebuild, then Carr's not really interested in that. I do still believe that Carr wants to be a Raider for life. His heart is in Las Vegas, and there is no other place that he wants to succeed and bring a Super Bowl to than the Raiders. But we have to make a realization if the idea is to do a rebuild with the new head coach and GM, Derek Carr might actually say, you know what, I've had enough and I'm going to call it a career.